In this video, I'm going to show you an admin module you can install in your Joomla site as a handy dandy place to remind you about the color scheme that you're using on your site. Brought to you by MySites.Guru. Do you have a Joomla site? Of course you do. Head on over to MySites.Guru and get a free site audit for it. Stop looking at my nuts. Hey there Joomla fans, Tim Davis here. I'm a Joomla fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 290 here on the Basic Joomla Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Joomla sites. So I also work on Joomla sites, build them, maintain them, migrate them. If you're looking to hire someone short-term or long-term or just to get you out of a fix, uh, send me an email, tim at cybersault.com. All right, well, you're probably wondering about the squirrel. Uh, Allison Meeks is tired of the orange background in my videos. And so I thought, well, I'll put in something that she likes. I do have plans to change it maybe around episode 300. I might be doing some uh, spiffing up of the, of the videos in the channel. We'll see. In the meantime, let's turn our attention to the screen and let's get looking at this module. All right, so of course the link's gonna be in the video description below. Thanks to Peter Martin for this module. Uh, we'll go to the Joomla extensions directory and we are going to download it. When we click download, it's going to take us to his GitHub page. And there we have mod db8 colors. We'll click on that and save it to our computer. And now I'm just gonna click back here and you will find the printed instructions for installing it. What we're going to do is install it on the site here and stick around because I'll show you a really handy dandy way that you can pick out the colors for adding to this little reminder. All right, here we are in the back end of Joomla 5 site. I'm going to go to system, install extensions, and we're going to install from folder, you know, upload package file. Now, what we just downloaded to our computer, we're going to drag to there. And then we're going to go to system and then down here to administrator modules, not site modules, administrator modules. Now we already have this at the top. If you want to filter for the start here, you could just go DB8, hit enter, and there we have it. Let's go in. Now Peter suggests that you give this a name. So let's say, let's just call this color scheme reminder. All right. And we need to assign it to a position. And he suggests C panel. So let's assign it to C panel. And we're going to publish it. All right. And we will go save and close. Now, when we go to the home dashboard, we just have to look for the color scheme reminder module. And there it is. But there's no color on there. Well, let's add some. We're going to click on the gear. We're going to go to edit. And here is where we can place the name and select the color. Now, if you're just using something like a plain one, we could type in there red main. And now we can go over to the color picker. When we click in there, we'll get presented with some of it. This will probably get fixed in a future version. You see, because right now we just have red through purple. But if you left click in here and drag and go further down, it's counterintuitive. You can get to all of the colors that you could then go and pick. But since we said red, you know, you could just pick a red that you like, and that's what it's going to be as a reminder. But of course, we know that's probably not the red that's being used in this template. So let's wipe that and let's wipe that out. I go to our home page, and now I'm going to put hit F12 for Chrome Inspector. And I'm going to click this little button here and highlight typography, and you'll see that right here is a red let's click on there and look there's the hex 99001c copy all right we copy that and I'm just gonna paste that in there and then I'm going to save the module now if I want to add another color all I have to do is hit plus right here and put in the name there this time let's type background all right we'll go to the front of the site we will go and select the picker again, scroll down, and we'll select this outside area here. And we're going to look over here for the color. Now, it's maybe not coming up right away. So what we can do is just click anywhere that there is a color and then use this eyedropper and we can go anywhere on the page to pick that color. And there we go. It is F-F-E-B-E-E. -E -E. We will copy that and we're going to paste that 
Let's do one more because not only can you get colors from the CSS, you can also pick up a color out of a logo file if you're not quite sure which one it is. So let's just call that, um, uh, let's just call this blue, but which blue are we going to use? All right, we will go back to the home page here. And as we did before, we're just going to click on the eyedropper and now we can go up and mouse over a picture and we can go and say, yeah, that's the blue I want right there. What is it? It's that hex there. Of course, the background changed, but that's just because we're previewing right now as we're using that tool. We can go here, we go paste the color and we go save and close. And now when we're wondering what color to use when working on our site, we think, oh yeah, what's the exact color for the background color? Oh, here it is right here in our color scheme reminder. It is F-F-E-E-E-B-E-E. -E -E -E. We can copy that and then you can go and paste that and use that wherever you are. Thanks, Peter, for that handy dandy tool that'll keep us from going nuts trying to remember all of these color codes. Subscribe for more videos. Until the next time, enjoy your Joomla sites and God bless.